Ossipati Conservation Program, or ACP, is a volunteer-based biodiversity and community conservation research project. The project is based here in the Manafiafi Littoral Forest of St. Louis, which is located about 40 kilometers north of Fort Dauphin. Our campsite is located in Bandrica, one of the three hamlets where we work here in St. Louis. The main source of income in the region is fishing, followed by traditional agriculture. The people who live here rely heavily on the natural resources that the forest and the sea provide. Azafati's conservation program is based here in St. Louis because it is one of the last remaining tracts of littoral forests in Madagascar. Littoral forests are located in close proximity to the coast and have sandy soils. Like so many other forests in Madagascar, this forest houses many unique species of plants and animals, many of which are found nowhere else in the world. There are many pressures on the remaining fragments, which makes it even more vital that work is carried out here, not only for the sake of the unique biodiversity, but also for the people who rely on the resources. The ACP uses a multi-pronged approach to conservation in the region. Our projects include biodiversity research as well as community conservation initiatives. Our current biodiversity research includes work with the lemurs, reptiles, amphibians, and plants. ACP volunteers are involved in a combination of these biodiversity projects as well as our community conservation initiatives, which include fuel-efficient stove building, environmental education in the local school, conservation through English lessons, World Environment Day festivities, and Conservation Club for the children in all three hamlets. ACP volunteers collect data on lemurs here in St. Louis. St. Louis has five species of lemur. The red color brown lemur is cathemeral and can be found out during the day. There are four species of nocturnal lemur, the greater dwarf lemur, a fat-tailed dwarf lemur, a species of a mouse lemur, and the southern woolly lemur. The southern woolly lemur was recently separated out as a new species and considered a data deficient by the IUCN. Volunteers conduct both diurnal or nocturnal survey of each fragment to determine density of the species in each different fragments. We also collect behavioral data on both red coral, red color brown lemur and the southern woolly lemur. And this is a great opportunity to watch lemur in their natural habitat while uh, collecting valuable data about this species. One aspect of the Azibadi Conservation Program here in St. Louis is to conduct long-term monitoring of amphibians and reptiles in this area. This type of research is really important, not just because of the local endemism of species here, but the high diversity and continuing decline of species habitats. St. Louis isn't a big area, However, the amount of diversity of species here is pretty incredible. This area has been studied for a couple of years now, and even at present, we're finding species here that haven't been recorded in this area before. The ACP are ca uh, currently carrying out a range of botanical research. We are working with two critically endangered palms. We are mapping their distribution. Uh, in three of the fragments here, um, so we can go back and monitor their life history, um, their growth rates, and also the extraction uh, of these palms by the local communities. Um, we also work alongside the Azafadi tree nursery collecting seeds from, from the palm species, uh, cultivating them, and hopefully going to have some replantation schemes in the near future. We're carrying out a botanical habitat sampling in three of the forest fragments, looking at species diversity, um, dominant species, and also mapping the canopy profile. Um, we can 
cross reference that data with the fauna research, looking at edge effects and have a specific had habitat requirements. The Azafat Conservation Program incorporates a community in our work here in St. Louis. It is important to include the local community in our work so that people are aware of environmental issues that are affecting them. Why don't you hold weekly environmental education classes at the local school to supplement the current science curriculum? Conservation thought English classes are held twice weekly and the volunteer build a fuel efficient stove in houses who register. The SCP organizes festivity for a World Environment Day. We have also established a conservation club for the children in all three hundred. As the Fadi's holistic approach to work in Southeast Madagascar includes community help, construction, and sustainable livelihoods, as well as environmental work, the Azafadi Conservation Program links together with each of these departments and all of the work that our staff and volunteers conduct. The data that our volunteers collect through research adds to Azafadi's mission to relieve pressure on regional forests while providing sustainable and functional alternatives for the communities that rely on these resources. All of our projects are fully integrated into the community where we work so that solutions and management of these resources come from the community itself. The Azafati Conservation Program gives our volunteers the opportunity to meet people with similar interests from all over the world while gaining valuable field experience and learning about themselves. Volunteers become a part of the community through opportunities such as Malagasy language lessons, weaving lessons with the local women's weaving association, and bush parties. During free time, volunteers have the opportunity to explore the beautiful and remote beaches and islands of St. Luce and Fort Dauphin. If you're interested in becoming a part of the Azafati Conservation Program, please visit our website at www.azafati.org.